As you can hear in the background, the Oracle, Team Oracle plane is overhead right now, and that is Sean Tucker at the controls. And Seafair just wouldn't be Seafair without Sean Tucker as he is back. And people actually, they, they question how can he do what he does, considering there is that little thing called gravity that kind of holds us all on this planet. Yet he seems to be able to defy that at times with the maneuvers that he makes in that uh, Oracle biplane. He was sure missed last year. He uh, was. I can't remember. There was a conflict. There was a big international air show, I believe. So we lost some of the, the best guys in the business. And trust me, Seafair has the best air show in the business. So we lost Tucker and some others. So it's great to have him back this year. He performs uh, all year long. He's really devoted his adult life to exploring what uh, this aerobatic flight is all about. And uh, he has what? I think I read somewhere 10,000 lifetime practices. And so he's just constantly honing his craft. You're, if you can hear right now in the background, here in the actual pit area, we're listening to some of his uh, calls as he is in the cockpit. I don't know how he can even speak doing some of the maneuvers he does. But my question is, how do you do one of these re maneuvers the first time? How do you say, I wonder if I do this, what will happen? At some point, you just got to suck it up and do it, and I just don't know how you do that. Let's listen to Sean Tucker here for just a moment. The problem with Sean is he needs to cheer up a well, little bit. I don't know why he's so down all the time. He, he is literally laughing in the face of death as he does some of these maneuvers. Just amazing. How would you like to be Mrs. Tucker? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, this plane, he points it straight up and then straight down at the water and then does some of the craziest things in between. And I believe he was frustrated with the planes that you could buy to do these because they wouldn't do some things he wanted. So he and his engineering buddies got together and said, let's basically build an airplane that can do something that no airplane can do. So that's it's an engineering feat as well as a, a, a flying feat. Over 1,100 pounds is this plane. His top speed, 300 miles an hour, but he can go backwards at 100 miles an hour. And then the question is, why would you want to? <laughs> I mean, everybody says, wow, it's amazing. You know, those boats go 200 miles an hour, but I never said, yeah, and they'll, go, they'll go backwards half that speed. You know, I remember now something. Sean calls himself Sky Dancer, and that really is what he does in this Oracle biplane. That plane, the way he puts it up on the tail, and now he's just sort of falling through space and time. Uh, but he is dancing in that aircraft. You know, I would I would love to be a fly on the wall to hear the Blue Angels and Sean Tucker sitting having a couple beers. Can you imagine what that conversation would be like? I mean, these guys, I'm sure he's every bit as skilled in what he does as the Blue Angels. The Blue Angels just have a, a much different piece of machinery. The Sean Tucker is every bit a Blue Angel. You know, we knew Oracle made good vacuum cleaners. We, we had no idea that they were this good in the air. This is actually powered by one of their top-of-the-line vacuums. I really? Think. Yeah, they've got one of the wow. best vacuum motors in this airplane. <laughs> I don't think that's the case, folks. But at any rate, Sean Tucker and Team Oracle, as always, just leave those of us here on the shoreline and out on the log boom with our leaves us slack jawed as we watch you look up and you just wonder how in the world can he do what he does i think he's going sideways now is that 
What are you saying? Is that a plane going sideways? I'm trying to find him. He's up above our canopy right now. So it's tough to see. Was he in the military? Did he start flying in the military? Or Sometimes I watch him and I think he must have been a crop duster or something. Well, um, I, but, uh, uh, I imagine most of these stunt pilots probably came out of the military. I'm looking through my notes. I, I can't find it off the top, but wherever he learned, he is some kind of pilot. Do you know if this plane flies to each show or do they take uh, the wings off of it? And no, I would assume he? I would assume he flies to the shows. Look oh. at this now. He's just going to bring it to almost a almost a stall. Well, that engine needs a ring job bad. It's smoking. <laughs> or he's burning a lot of oil. Okay, he's going sideways, backward. And he's probably no more, what would you say, uh, 150, maybe 100 feet off the water. Yeah, and you really, television really doesn't do that one perspective, but he was right there on the water. The other thing that's amazing to me is how do you get an engine to run? It, you know, you, an engine's got to be putting fuel to it, and you're doing all these crazy things to the engine. It's amazing that the engine can keep running. Well, or that the, that the plane itself holds together. I mean, right. you're asking this plane to... to you know, undergo the kinds of forces that, that most planes aren't built to handle. This one, however, is, and, and I would guess that Sean specifically made it so that he can do the kinds of things he does. But once again, how do you test it the first time? They say, well, let's do this to the airplane, and that should keep the wing on, you know? <laughs> the, the key word there being should keep the wing on. It's, it's a little bit tough to tell in this shot, but he is just hanging in midair right now, hanging in midair. And as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, he was using uh, the tail almost like a, you know, a, a swim fin on a, on a... Like a what? I have no a idea. A swim fin. A fin on a, on okay. a fish. Okay. Oh, my. Well, we're all dizzy here in the tower uh, just watching but, Sean. But we're dizzy most of the time oh, anyway. True. But it gets worse a, when we watch Sean Tucker. Didn't take an air show for that. Well, thanks to Sean Tucker and Team Oracle for, once again, another terrific uh, part of the Boeing Air Show. And we've got more boat racing to come. We're also going to figure out a little more about our weather as we get closer to the championship races here at Seafair. Don't go away. More from the Albert Lee Cup here on Cairo 7.